Hmm. What's up? I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Dale. Taught the lesson last week. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Now, uh, this week, I'm back. I'm going to be teaching you all about double stops. Okay? Now, what these are, are uh, it's where you take one note, you bend it up a full step, so you hit a note that you're already playing. All right, so say that uh, I'm on the 15th fret of the B string and the 12th fret of the high E, and I bend that 15th fret up to the 17th whole step, and I get do two of the same notes. Hear that? They're the same note, so I just bend it up. All right, now what you do with the bending motion that you want to do is uh, like you're turning a car key. You use your wrist more than anything. It's not in the fingers. All right, you use your wrist to bend it. All right, so like, see the movement? All right, this is really handy. It's used a lot in blues, rock and roll. Everybody uses it. All right, you can do it around the neck, like here, there, anywhere, really. And uh, it's a really handy tool to be able to use. Also, there are, there's another kind uh, where, say that I'm on the uh, G string on the 14th fret and the B on the 15th, and I take the 14th of the G and I bend it up a full step. That's really more of a bluesy kind of one. You get that really, uh, you get, you, it sounds as if you're holding down the 16th on the G and playing the 15th on the B. See? Same motion in the wrist, same bend, full step. That one can move it around too. This sounds kind of country if you get it like. You know? Alright, that's this week's lesson. Tune in next week for more.